Hi, my name's Charlotte Jones and I'm conditional to James Moffat in Cartmel. I had my first ride in 2016 on the track and since then I've ridden 33 winners from 170 rides. I came into racing a little bit later than most people. I didn't have my first ride on the track till I was, I think I was 21 maybe, or 20 even. But to be honest, now I'm hooked, I absolutely love it. So there's nothing better than the thrill of riding a winner. Yeah, I've caught Charlotte for around four years. Uh, and started from obviously very, very green. Probably quite ditzy really, in the sense that she was mad to get better. You know, she's new to racing. She's not from racing originally. She came from show jumping and all that sort of stuff. So everything was new. She worked, gave everything 100%. And worked really hard and came to where she is because of that. So far as a jockey, obviously, I'm working on my fitness, which is, I think, probably number one priority for all jockeys. I'm working on my actual race riding. I use Brian Harding a lot to help me look over the races and look where I'm right, where I'm wrong, what I could do better. Obviously my nutrition is a big part of things. Any area I can improve on, I'm, I'm open. <laughs> Obviously being a jockey and trying to work on other things is difficult. I want to put 100% into my race riding because otherwise there's probably not a lot of point in doing it. I don't want to just put half effort in, but at the same time I like to keep busy and you've got to think about the future as well. I studied equine science as a degree and then at the moment I'm just in the middle of completing the BHA level 4 qualification that they've got on. I recently set up my own gin um, with my boyfriend and a couple of others, so there's six of us in it. It's called XV Gin. So far so good, we've had some good reviews about that, so hopefully that can start to get snowballing a little bit and that will kick in hopefully in my later career. My achievements I'm probably most proud of is one that probably means a lot to me, it might not mean a lot to anybody else, but it's taking the leading rider around my local track, Carmel, which was this summer. I used to do pony club camp there when I was about 12, so having being the leading rider and the first female to do it, that means a lot to me. I've had a winner at Aintree, which I am also really proud of. Again, it was probably a little bit messy at the time. It was when I was a £10 claimer, but again, it's still a winner at Aintree, so I, I'm not complaining at that. I'm chuffed to have won the award. I, to be honest, I didn't expect to win. I didn't really think I would win something like this. It's really good that I think that the progress that you're making and all the extra hard work that you're doing is getting recognised, especially for sort of like younger conditionals. Um, obviously, I get a lot of the support from Jimmy and the yard, and so that's all good, but I mean, ultimately, I just want to keep getting better. <laughs> I'm delighted that Charlotte's won this award. Um, she's worked very hard in the last five years and she fully deserves it. I was lucky enough to, to ride for a few years with Richard Davis and the lovely fellow that he was and so it does make it a little bit extra special for me personally that Charlotte's won this award in honour of Richard Davis.